Hello, Namaste, welcome. My name is Ihan from Yoga Seeds. And today I have Claudia here with me. Today, uh, together we are going to bring you through a very short session, about 30 minutes or so of yin or restorative practice. And we are going to center this practice around slowing down. So if you're going through some stressful times, feeling a little bit of anxiety, take this time, very short while, out of your hectic schedule, just to slow down, breathe a little bit better, slower, and ground yourselves down a little bit more. So we're just going to begin. What you will need, ideally, a block or two. If you don't have blocks at home, feel free to be creative. You can substitute with books, cushions, um, blankets, bolsters, whatever you think can help you. So if you don't have them with you on your mat right now, feel free to grab it. And once you are ready, we are going to come back here and begin in a comfortable sitting position. So if you have blocks, we are going to take two blocks. Claudia will have them. You can put them side by side and sit onto the blocks. So we'll try our best to ensure that both blocks are of the same height. If you don't have blocks, you have blankets or towels at home, you can also fold them up. And it's a little bit lower, but should work just as well. We want to just allow the hips to be slightly elevated, lifting the hips above the knees. Another way you can consider will be in hero pose, taking one block to make it comfortable, bring it between your ankles, allow your sit bones to be fully grounded and roll the shoulders back and down. Allow your hips to settle down, any gentle movements you like just to open up the joints so you can reach your arms up. Big stretch if this is in the morning especially, very nice stretch for the spine. You can also relax your arms down, then just do a few shoulder rolls back and down or going forward, loosening out, even having the hands behind you, your choice. So really just being creative, listen to your body a bit more, notice what your body needs and do whatever it takes to loosen it out. Maybe a bit of twisting as well. And once you are ready, you feel a little bit more calm in your body, you can rest the hands on your knees. Take your time, no rush. Whenever ready, gently allow your eyelids to meet. Closing your eyes. A few moments just to ground yourselves. Allow your physical body, your mind, your breath to all arrive on the mat. So in slowing down, not just physically slowing down with an yin practice, but also allowing the mind to settle, allowing the breath to slow, and with this slower, more controlled breathing, we allow the mind, the body to all stay together. Start to be aware of how your body is feeling. Any sensations that are rising up. Any thoughts that are constantly trying to catch your attention. Especially if you've been through a very stressful period, you may start to constantly find out that your mind, your thoughts are always in hyperdrive. We first start with awareness, with observation, noticing what comes up, and we make a very conscious effort to not react to it. Noticing the micro movements in the body. 
Maybe it comes with the breath. Just that gentle rising and falling of the chest and the belly as you breathe. It could, be, it could be that urge to just move the shoulders if it is tight. Could be a past injury, could be chronic tightness. Observing. And just allowing yourself to completely settle down into the present. Once you feel grounded and you feel like taking the practice a little bit further, we will start to extend the breath a little bit more. Think of inhaling all the way to the base of the belly. Let the belly rise, chest rise and completely exhale. Let the chest soften and let the belly relax. Now if you feel like the breath is not fully expanding your body, maybe you can try to sit tall without over engaging the muscles. So not overarching into the spine, not slumping down, just finding a very natural length into the spine. If you still find the mind running around, it is normal, we are all humans. Maybe we use the counting of the breath to help us. Just using it as a technique to focus, to have a thread, a rope for the mind to follow. The next exhale, let's allow ourselves to completely breathe out. And then we inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. And keep going. Equal breaths in and out through the nose smoothly, effortlessly. If you're feeling very comfortable here, feel free to extend your exhalations, maybe four counts, five counts, or even six counts. It is up to you. And we will continue this mindful breathing just one more minute. As the breath slows down, feel the shoulders, the hips, relaxing and maybe a very gentle softening into the center of the chest. Just one more breath here, big breath.
and very gently bring your palms together in front of your heart. Maybe setting an intention here, dedicating this practice to yourself, self-care, self-love. Make this 30 minutes completely your own quality me time. And with this in mind, very gently, maybe a gentle bow, bringing the chin to the chest. And with a few soft blinks, gently open your eyes. Welcome back. We'll begin lying down. But before we do that, I'm just going to show you how to set up the props. We are beginning with a very gentle heart opening, a very passive one. So if you've been sitting on a block, just take them out. You can shake out your legs for a little bit. Now Claudia is going to show you one option and I'm going to show you the other one. So you have different options to choose from. If you have two blocks at home, we are going to use them to put into a T-shape. The height that you need or you like to have is entirely up to you. So one block parallel to the sides of the mat, the other one just a short distance away from it in the opposite direction. This first block will be between the shoulder blades along the spine. So Claudia is just going to gently lower herself down with the support of her hands, making sure that this block is directly in the center. And then this second block goes to her head. Make sure the back of your neck is free. Your shoulders are gently opening out to the side. The collarbones are broadening. Now, once you are here, you can also take the option of butterfly legs. Gentle stretch into the hip joint. Now, if you only have one block, we are going to use this. Just put it parallel to the sides of the mat again. And here, we are going to put it slightly higher up making sure that this top corner of the block supports the base of the spine. So again, you can just lower back down, support yourself on your forearm, and make sure you feel comfortable here before lying back. Adjust as much as you need. Make sure your neck, your head is fully supported. If you're feeling a little bit sharp on the edges of the block, feel free to use a towel to cover it. Arms can relax by the sides. If your legs are feeling fine, your spine is feeling great, maybe you can try straightening the legs out. Your choice. Now once you're here, feel your body completely relaxing into the props that are underneath you. Closing your eyes. Maintaining smooth, long breaths. as we very gently stretch out the front of the chest, front of the body. You may feel the breathing a little easier. Some of us may also feel this a little bit uncomfortable at the start. It is normal. Just take a time to ease into the pose. We are aware of how we are feeling. But at the same time, we make the effort to not react. Just resting here. 
with each inhalation opening the heart shining the chest to the sky and with each exhalation feel your chest opening your rib cage broadening along the front of your body If you're still noticing any areas of tension, tightness, take a time, gently let them go. Just a few more deep breaths here. Keep your breath smooth and as effortless as you can. Now as we allow ourselves to practice slowing down, let's try to let, uh, allow the physical movements to be as slow as possible as well. On the end of the next exhalation, we start to bring the knees into the center and let the knees point up to the sky again. Pausing for a moment here. Keeping your elbows on the mat. You can bring your arms in slightly. Use your right arm as a support. Maybe right arm extending out. Gently roll yourself off to the right. And allow yourself to rest on the side, right side body. Just a moment, using the right arm as a pillow. Take your time. You can still keep your eyes closed. Allow your head to come up last. Left palm in front of your chest, gently lift your body up. And let your head come up last. Coming back into a comfortable sitting position. And we take the blocks out to the side. Gently blink your eyes open. Good. Now just loosen up the body a little bit if you need to. If you're feeling great, we move on from here. Next few postures, we will still be lying down. So if there are props around you, you may want to clear them out slightly so you are free to extend your arms without any blockages. And once you are ready, we are going to lie down again, make yourself comfortable and gently hug the knees to your chest. Good. Gently maybe rock a little side to side. Loosen out the hips. We just did a very gentle back bend. Not very comfortable for some of us, but that's over. Now we move on. We are going to open the arms out to the sides. Now, if you have limited space, don't worry. You can bend the elbows, come into cactus arms. Now, keeping the knees as close to the chest as possible, we gently lower the knees down to the right side. Try as much as possible, keep the left shoulder down on the mat. If you need to reduce the intensity of the stretch, 
You can bring the knee slightly away from the chest. Your choice. Now this stretch could be in a little bit intense for some of us. You could also use a towel, blanket, bolster or a block and just slide it underneath the thigh if you need to. Now Claudia is pretty comfortable here. I don't think she needs the block. So I'm just going to take it out again. Now if you are feeling great here, just close your eyes and again soften. Slowing down into the breath. A little bit of softness into the belly. Sometimes we try very hard to twist. I want more. I want more stretch. But in this position, actually, we can just surrender to gravity. Let the chest soften. The belly relax. Hips relaxing. If you still feel a lot of stretch in the lower back, the hips here, maybe you can release slightly. Don't have to push yourself too hard. 80% stretch, 70% is great. And then just allow the breath to take over. Again, smooth inhale, smooth exhale. Now, as we stay here for a slightly longer period of time, sometimes you find that the stretch, the sensation is starting to reduce. If you do feel like your body needs a little bit more, you can move, but very mindfully. Once you have shifted or adjusted your posture, give yourself some time for this sensation to kick in again and you decide whether it is comfortable for you. If you find yourself feeling a bit of fatigue along the inner thighs, maybe you have been unknowingly gripping the muscles a little bit too tightly. So just allow yourself to relax. Even if the thighs start to slide further away from each other, if the body starts to shift slightly, keep it natural, just let them be. And we'll have a few more breaths here. On your next inhalation, very gently bring the knees back to the center and we pause there. Let the spine settle back to neutral. And gently as you exhale, lower the knees to the left side. Again, keeping the muscles soft, the inner thighs, your core muscles, the center of the chest, your shoulders, keep them relaxed. Some of us may feel a very big difference on this side. When it comes to twisting, anything that is asymmetrical, the body will respond quite differently on both sides for most of us. So just give yourself that space to maybe discover something new about yourself. Whether it is tighter here, whether you feel more space here, it is not a comparison on which side is better, but just knowing the difference and acknowledging this difference. 
and again just slowing down into the body into the breath feel the shoulders the left side of the hip melting down into the ground facial muscles relaxing your jaws your throat Relax. For some of us, maybe our attention span on staying present is starting to find its limit. It is normal. So just take a time. If you do find your mind starting to drift around, being aware of it is already a good first step. Don't have to be too hard on yourself. Just let the breath gently Guide your awareness back to this moment. This moment of dedicating time, energy, effort to yourself. On your next inhale, we are going to bring the knees back to the center. And again, allow the spine to reset to neutral. You can use your hands to just gently hold on to the knees. A gentle squeeze if you like, like a hug for yourself. And once you are ready, we are going to bring the feet down onto the mat. Feet slightly apart. And let the knees just cave in towards each other, gently resting against each other. We are going to use this constructive rest pose as a transition into Shavasana. So maybe you can have the arms out by the sides. Wriggle the shoulders, adjust yourself, move around if you need to. Make sure your skin is not being pinched by the mat, by your clothes. Free up the neck, the head. Now with our knees bent this way, our lower back can relax completely. So if you're sitting down long hours, you're feeling a bit tight, a bit sensitive into the lower back, feel free to stay here. But if you're used to having legs straight out in Shavasana, or if you prefer that way, you can also straighten the legs out one at a time. Whichever works better for you. If you're not too sure, try both, then choose one. And once you are here, in a very neutral position. Start to notice if you are observing any after effects of the postures that we have just done. The postures, the last two poses that we did were pretty gentle. You may or may not feel an effect. So just notice. Give yourself that space to observe how the body responds to movement or to stillness. And then once you are there, eyes gently closed. If you have a towel and you find the surrounding a little bit too bright, you are also free to just drip the towel over your eyes. softening into all the muscles 
that are generally tighter, like the shoulders, the hips, and just give yourself the time and the space to completely relax. If you have the time, you can stay in Shavasana for as long as you like. Remind yourself that you deserve a rest. It is not a luxury, you deserve it. So if you can, stay for as long as you like. And thank you for joining me this 30 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this practice together. And I hope to see you again online or in person. Namaste.